Even during Stalin's brutal reign of terror in the Soviet Union, few names struck as much fear as that of Nikolai Yezov. From 1936 to 1938, Yezov served as the ruthless head of the NKVD, the Soviet secret police and predecessor of the KGB. Welcome back to Rad History, where we bring to you some intriguing events that you might not have heard about. Today promises another eye-opening episode, as we will be diving into the disturbing truth of Stalin's main executioner. Tell us what you think in the comments. Under Yezov's bloody supervision, the NKVD carried out Stalin's infamous Great Purge, which resulted in the execution or death by torture of hundreds of thousands of innocent Soviet citizens. Though he eventually fell victim himself to Stalin's merciless paranoia, Yezov's two years at the helm of the NKVD earned him the nickname the Bloodthirsty Dwarf and made him forever synonymous with the darkest chapter of Soviet history. Nikolai Ivanovich Yezov was born in 1895 into a poor peasant family in the town of St. Petersburg. As a young man, Yezov worked a series of odd jobs and gradually became involved in radical leftist politics. In 1917, he took part in the Bolshevik Revolution and swiftly rose through the Communist Party ranks during Lenin's rise to power. An amateurish public speaker but competent bureaucrat, Yezov quietly commanded Stalin's attention due to his ruthlessness and capacity for cruelty. In 1926, Stalin gave Yezov his first important role within the Soviet secret police by appointing him head of the party's Central Control Commission, an organization that investigated suspected disloyalty within the Communist Party. Yezov excelled cruelly in this job using violence and torture to extract confessions from party members suspected of plotting against Stalin. He also proved adept at fabricating charges of treason against Stalin's political enemies in order to have them executed. Stalin soon came to regard Yezov as one of his most trusted lieutenants and confidants. After years of advancement within the secret police, Stalin named Yezov head of the NKVD in September 1936. Taking over shortly after Stalin announced his great terror, Yezov enthusiastically threw himself into the task of executing Stalin's paranoid will. That seems exhausting, to say the least. Under his leadership, the NKVD began a two-year campaign of mass murder that targeted not only actual political opponents, but also anyone Stalin deemed a potential threat. Yezov authorized a spree of false accusations, show trials, and arbitrary executions that affected every branch of Soviet society. He instructed NKVD agents to fill impossible arrest quotas by detaining doubtful citizens and condemning them based on flimsy evidence. Doesn't communism sound fun? Students fresh out of university today might say something like, but it hasn't been implemented the right way. Shut up, nerd. Anyway, some of the groups most victimized under Yezov's orders were Soviet intellectuals, scientists, artists, and writers, believing these types to be inherently counter-revolutionary. Yezov had thousands of Soviet thinkers imprisoned and later executed. At Yezov's request, Stalin also signed orders authorizing the NKVD to execute tens of thousands of military officers suspected of disloyalty, purely on the basis of their rank. Overall, historians estimate between 700,000 and 1.2 million Soviet citizens perished as a direct result of Yezov's purges, a staggering toll of human life brought about by the whim of one disturbed individual. Along with the physical liquidation of Stalin's perceived enemies, Yezov also carried out a ghastly psychological war against the Soviet populace through a campaign of torture, intimidation and fear. Under his orders, the NKVD rounded up countless innocent citizens, subjecting them to inhumane interrogation techniques aimed at extracting false confessions. Those who managed to survive NKVD prisons often suffered mental damage so severe they were rendered invalid for the rest of their lives. Such wanton cruelty succeeded in instilling an atmosphere of terror and mistrust throughout Soviet society, keeping citizens in a perpetual state of anxiety and dread. However, Nikolai Yezov's brief reign as the most powerful man in the Soviet Union after Stalin would soon come to an abrupt end. As the Great Purge rolled on, Stalin began to suspect even his most loyal henchmen of plotting against him, 
Fearing that Yezov had accumulated too much personal power, Stalin orchestrated his protégé's downfall by spreading rumors of disloyalty against him within the NKVD. In November 1938, Stalin finally summoned Yezov to the Kremlin, denouncing him for treason and replacing him as the head of the NKVD with Leventi Beria. Yezov spent the remaining years of his life in obscurity, arrested in April 1939 and tried in secret along with other victims of his own earlier purges. He was executed by an NKVD firing squad on February 4, 1940, allegedly begging for his life before the end. Thus perished one of the vilest figures of 20th century history, a brutal torturer whose name came to symbolize the height of Stalinist terror and whose legacy of violence helped shape the course of Soviet history for decades to come. Today, few mourn the fate of Nikolai Yezov. For those who suffered under his iron fist, it is enough that his ruthless reign finally ended and that Stalin's main executioner finally met justice at the hands of the very system he helped build. Let's dive more into the person of this brutal executioner. Yezov was known for his short stature, earning him the nickname the Bloodthirsty Dwarf. He stood at only about 5 feet 3 inches tall. Yezov's purges targeted not only political opponents, but also ethnic minorities like Poles, Latvians and Germans in an attempt to break up potential power bases opposed to Stalin. Under Yezov's orders, the NKVD arrested and executed many priests and other members of religious communities, reflecting the atheist views of Stalin and the Communist Party. Yezov personally approved the use of torture techniques on prisoners to extract false confessions, including beatings, sleep deprivation, and being locked in cells filled with rats. Yezov held lavish parties for NKVD officers, where they would drink excessively and joke about executing political prisoners. Yezov reportedly engaged in orgies and other debauched behavior. After losing Stalin's favor, Yezov's downfall was extreme and swift. He was swiftly demoted, stripped of honors, and expelled from the Communist Party within a matter of months. After his own arrest, Yezov was forced to sign a confession, admitting to being part of an anti-Soviet, Trotskyist, terrorist organization, mirroring the false confessions he had extracted from others. Yezov's purge helped cement Stalin's dictatorial control over the Soviet Union by eliminating virtually all opposition within the Communist Party and government, but it also created a climate of fear that persisted for decades. So we can conclude that while Yezov's brutality and bloodlust were shocking, what made him truly dangerous was his blind loyalty to Stalin and his role in helping Stalin consolidate absolute power and eliminate all threats, real or perceived. Yezov embodied the dark cruelty at the heart of Stalin's tyrannical regime. Yezov's purge, known as the Great Terror or Great Purge, had a devastating impact on the Soviet Union it eliminated vast numbers of experienced leaders, scientists, engineers, educators and intellectuals, crippling several sectors of the Soviet economy and stunting scientific progress. It created a climate of fear and paranoia, where citizens lived in constant anxiety about being arrested for perceived disloyalty. Trust between people was severely damaged. It strained and even ruptured family and personal relationships as people accused friends, colleagues and even loved ones to save themselves from arrest. It solidified Stalin's dictatorial control by removing all internal threats, leaving the Soviet government and the Communist Party under his absolute authority. No potential rivals remained. It set a dangerous precedent of using arbitrary arrests, torture and executions against citizens, establishing a culture of repression that persisted for decades. It eroded morale and confidence in the Soviet system as citizens saw the cruelty, paranoia and injustice embodied by the purge. This undermined the legitimacy of communist rule. The many show trials associated with the purge set an example for how to stage sham judicial proceedings based on false evidence to condemn political opponents. This was repeated numerous times going forward. Yes, Yezov's purge devastated the Soviet ruling class, created a climate of fear and suspicion, solidified Stalin's dictatorship, empowered the secret police, imposed traumatic psychological damage and undermined the moral authority and legitimacy of the Soviet system. Its consequences were damaging and long-lasting. The Soviet police reacted to the Great Purge in a variety of ways. Many Soviet citizens were initially supportive of the purge, seeing it as a legitimate crackdown on real traitors and enemies of the state. Stalin's propaganda spread this narrative. 
As the purge progressed and more prominent figures were arrested, doubts started to spread that innocent people were being targeted. But few dared voice these concerns openly. Many Soviet citizens denounced friends, family members and colleagues to the NKVD in an attempt to avoid being implicated themselves. This created mistrust and anger within society. Fear and paranoia took hold as virtually anyone could be arrested and executed on the slightest suspicion. Citizens lived in constant anxiety that they or their loved ones might be next, while some actively collaborated with the NKVD, informing on neighbors and associates, many Soviet citizens tried to keep their heads down and avoid drawing attention to themselves. As the death toll rose and show trials revealed obviously fabricated evidence, disillusionment with the purge grew. But citizens had little power to organize open resistance due to repression. Those whose family members were executed or sent to the Gulag suffered indescribable trauma and loss, though little public sympathy existed for the victims of the purge. After Yezov's purge ended, many Soviet citizens felt a sense of relief that the terror had finally concluded, but distrust of the government and lack of faith in the Soviet system remained. While many Soviets supported the initial aims of the purge as presented by Stalin's propaganda, as its brutality and injustice became apparent, Fear, mistrust, disillusionment and trauma took hold, but most citizens felt powerless to oppose the arbitrariness of Stalin and his henchmen like Yezov. Yezov's reign as the head of the NKVD and orchestrator of the Great Purge had a devastating and long-lasting impact on the Soviet Union. Yes, how disturbing it is to know that it resulted in the false arrest, torture and execution of hundreds of thousands of innocent citizens, destroying families, decimating communities and spreading fear throughout Soviet society. Trust between citizens completely broke down, as anyone could be denounced as an enemy. It eradicated an entire generation of Soviet leaders, intellectuals and artists who could have contributed to the development of the Soviet Union. Many experienced revolution-era communists, military officers and academics were among those purged. It severely damaged the Soviet military and security services by purging large numbers of experienced officers and officials, leaving the forces weakened and disorganized. This contributed to Soviet setbacks in the early years of World War II. It cemented Stalin's totalitarian control by eliminating any potential threats, real or imagined, but it also made Stalin even more paranoid and distrustful of those around him, eventually leading him to turn on even his closest associates, like Yezov. It tainted the image of communism and socialism in the eyes of many Soviet citizens who witnessed the brutality and injustice of the purge firsthand. Disillusionment with the Soviet system spread due to the purge. The legacy of the purge and Yezov's cruelty lingered for decades. When the full details became publicly known after Stalin's death, it further discredited the Soviet system and weakened the Communist Party's authority. Yezov's reign allowed Stalin to carry out a campaign of terror that transformed the Soviet Union into a completely totalitarian state based on fear and oppression. The effects of this tragedy are still felt to this day in Russian society. If you enjoyed this video, do tap the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get notified of new, intriguing historical happenings. You could leave in the comments section suggestions for historical events you'd like us to bring to you on our upcoming videos.